just keeping myself tucked back a little bit. Um, and uh, looking mildly uncomfortable as we rattle along. I'm gonna just kinda hold on to your arm, Laudna, if that's all right. You feeling okay, little sick? I just, you know, I never get used to these things. <laughs> Are you feeling pretty good about your little essay that you wrote? <laughs> no. I liked it! Hopefully I thought it was pretty they'll, good. They'll, uh, give us the time of day this time. Sure. Just a little nudge, maybe. Hmm. Well, I guess let's find out. So it's really hard to find out that, you know, all we want to do is learn. All we want to do is find out, um, some information. My feet. Bloody. Blistered on the bottom. That's not what from we're... walking here. Yeah, so far we don't need to learn about her feet necessarily. They're really gross. Um, trust me, you don't want to see. <laughs> While her voice does not seem to connect with your extended will, a number of other whispers begin to cross paths as you exit the conservatory, make your way down the conservatory steps. Oh, Other students that walk by and employees of the conservatory, you can hear their voices all <laughs> creeping in and it's starting to give you a headache. Oh, it hurts a bit. Imogen, wait, what, um, oh, uh, darling, you're all right. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, oh wow. Well. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, it's getting crowded. Yeah. You hear the heavy footfalls of a figure that kind of pushes past, kind of hitting your shoulder a bit, Imogen, and you watch as a Pachydon, the a massive elephant folk, kind of step by holding a large, kind of netted cluster of gathered fruits and vegetables. One arm goes, oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. And continues. I'll just kind of interlock my arm around Imogen's. I mean, are we ever going to find out anything? Maybe we should just leave this place and go find another city. And we always have that option. I know. I felt so good about coming here, like it was, you know, the first. Um, we'd be interacting with civilization in a while. I had high hopes for it, but we've done well here. We really have. We have, yeah. Honestly, I anticipated somebody running me out of this city far sooner, so the fact that it hasn't happened yet. It's at this point, Lana, you notice there's a pair of dwarven children that are kind of off the side of this small alley that are just kind of staring right at you. <gasps> you both kind of get spooked and kind of retract, but it's not completely out of the way. <laughs> what do you see? It's two kids. A little spooked, it seems. Oh. Are we playing hide and seek? They both look terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I jump out, I high ah, They both scream and run past you. One runs through your legs, they both oh, scatter out no, into the street. I'm friendly. You know, I don't, I don't think it goes over quite as well as you think it does, How you know? I just, I love kids, though. Lana. Do they love? Lana, no. They, they don't. Oh, fuck. They like, you know, fun scary, like. Fun scary. Yeah. Okay, I am fun scary. Lana, you're scary scary. I'm scary scary. Yeah. Oh my God. But in a good way. Thank you. Yeah, comes in handy. Children! Children! I, I, I don't think it's gonna work, Lana. Those children are gone. They're gone. They have scattered to the four winds and likely have adopted a new nightmare. I'll find more children. You can visit them in their dreams tonight. You can see there's an older woman right off and takes a lot of the ears her say she'll find more children and goes, Oh, fuck. Let's, Let's go. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> The objects have gone postal. <laughs> it does succeed, I think, with the 16. What? I can't curse a knife. Sorry. It's a fucking all right. I just reached knife. down and pet the back of her creepy head. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's like me. what you did with the lightning, that was pretty cool. Thank you so much. You know, I've been working on it. Um, thank you. Um, She's quite naturally talented. Sleep tight, Bertrand. <laughs> Bertrand hears in his head as we leave. Thank you so much. Ooh. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> Who the fuck was what? <laughs> guys, guys are gonna kill him. <laughs> have a heart attack. How are you feeling about everything? I feel fine. That was a little overwhelming. It was a lot overwhelming. That was a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, 
it was really interesting to see a whole bunch of people that, you know, kind of do the same thing that we do. I agree. Yeah. Were they in your heads at all? Did you get any? You know, after what happened over at the uh, conservatory, I, the whole rest of the day has just been a bit of a cacophony. Um, so I didn't really hear anything particular. It was, was kind of hard to hear the conversation at the table, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I, I, I mean, everybody seemed real nice. Yeah. Maybe this could get us that recognition. That's what I'm hoping. I mean, if we can get enough notice, then maybe we can get, you know, somebody to pay attention to us, and then we can actually get in. And if this goes horribly wrong, we could always leave. Sure. We have that option. Yeah. And worst case scenario, I mean, make a little coin, get us some money so we can actually travel in style. That so. would be nice. Yeah. I've grown to like Shadonna, though. I really do like her. I hope she doesn't mind that a few of the A's got cracked, but... I um, Just blame it on the broom. <laughs> yeah, she's never gonna believe this. <laughs> oh, you know, um, we just started, uh, you know, Lana came through my town a, a couple years back, and mm -hmm. we hit it off real well, and um, just decided to start traveling together. And, um, you know, we like to, to, to tour around Marquette and just kind of see different... So you're like backpackers? A bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we came to Drusart because we heard it had a, a wonderful, um, you know, just all these different, like, restaurants and um, places, you know, I'm I'm just not real good at this. Uh, we're we're going to the conservatory. I I just really wanted to go to the conservatory. We're looking for answers. <clears throat> so you just want to go to school for the glory of education? No, I don't. Or is there I something specific you're trying school. to? No, I'm. Focus. You know, it's just a fancy fucking school. It's just very really gifted. <sighs> you are very really gifted. You're both very gifted. Thank thank you. Uh, after seeing what he did to Laudna, Imogen's eyes flash white and her hands start to flicker brighter, and she's just gonna reach out her hand, and I'm gonna cast um, Witch Bolt. Okay. Straight at his heart. Go for it. At level two. At level two, all right, oh. go ahead and roll an attack on that. Imogen and I don't talk to anyone. No. <laughs> Not really. You guys seem like you have a really good deal going on. Should, should keep that up, it seems nice. It's pleasant. But you know, Imogen, she's also very talented, very gifted. If, you know, she wanted to go to school, I would support that wholeheartedly. Uh, don't I'm tell Pate. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Wait, what? He doesn't mind. He doesn't mind. <laughs> oh, hello, I'm Pate Dorolo. Pleasure to meet you. Look at you. Well, hello, can, oh. can I shake its little paw? Oh, hello, just. Oh. Oh, oh, I've never met someone like you. Ashley, I never, Ashton, I never wanted this? to end. This is amazing. Two years. Okay. You never get used to it. How often does this happen? I I so, to you say hello to the big. Brilliant hmm? idea. See, she's so brilliant. Me. me. Oh, Imogen. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, oh, Imogen. Who are you chasing? Do you need any help? I suppose okay. I have okay. full okay. confidence in Imogen. Okay. Okay. While two of our associates are on a on a wild chase across town, and we're just letting them go. There is nothing else to be fucking done Imogen other than maybe speed this up herself. All right, Imogen's great. She's got everything totally in control. Speaking of which, <laughs> <laughs> if you could make it's really dark in here. Oh, Wait, Imogen! 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 I'm right. I'm. You just. It, I'm just. I'm by the door. <gasps> okay. Oh, good. Are you okay? Glad to have you back. Yeah. Good. Good. Take but this and take an invoice. Imogen, if you need, if you need anything in there, just, just. Uh, I'll, I'll be right next to you. All right. Yes. I'm gonna start clomping it. And I'll be right on the other next to you. Thank you can you. be in the middle of Quietly, us. Quietly, or. That's so Make comforting, <laughs> actually. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, it's a stir to see if you can hear her down the hallway. I would do it, but I. You can. I'm a little overwhelmed. She can. I can. She can. Okay. It's just a lot for her, all right. I can. It helps if She's I can. She's very capable. I, I believe you, and that's wonderful that you're sticking up for your friend. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, hearing my girl, I'm gonna run out to this balcony over here and see if I see anything. Okay. Go ahead and roll a perception. All right. Oh, 
alive. You see me uh, on the other side. Yeah, you- Hi! <laughs> oh my god! Do <laughs> 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 you ever assistant setting up a guest room? I volunteer. <laughs> she is excellent with furniture. Like, no joke. Like, her eye is just. He looks back and Evelyn goes, You were talking about a remote book. <laughs> he goes, Not now, but when? Maybe. So, in your room, here in the windowed wall, not that far from Ladna, since there's not a lot of <laughs> space in the place you're currently staying, you immediately <sighs> wake up. Lodna. Mm. What? What's, what's wrong? Are you all right? It's another nightmare. Are you okay? Yeah. Um. Something happened in it, though. Um. I saw someone else. I think it was Bertrand. I don't know what it means, but it's never happened. What is the feeling that you got from it, do you have? Um, I don't know. He looked almost like he was at peace. Like he... But I don't understand how that's possible, like, Lord, no, I swear that the storm is terrifying. I know. Nothing, nothing would be comfortable there, and I don't know. I just grab her hand. <sighs> Whatever it is, there's an element of truth to it. Yeah, it's got to mean something. There's no denying. Okay. I'm gonna just grab a cup of water, bring it over to her. Here, drink. It's probably, it's probably nothing. It's just, I just feel like it'd be good if we at least went there and made sure, you know. Of course. Are you okay? What's um, matter? I don't know. It's complicated, but we have a bad feeling. Um, Imogen has. This is so dumb. <clears throat> it's okay. Sorry, it's not it? dumb. It's not. Imogen, she, she, she has these these senses, and and they, they tend to not steer us wrong. I turn and I grab Imogen's wrist. I don't know. I'll go stand by Lydon. I just give her a big hug. I'm gonna figure this out. I know. I know. But... Just wonder what kind of gifts are truly rolling around inside of you. I haven't even begun to scratch the surface. I'm sorry. I wish this gift would have shown us something sooner. I know. I know it's a burden. I get headaches just from listening to people chatter out loud. I could only imagine the dumb shit people have rolling around inside their heads. Bertrand was full of a lot of dumb shit. He was. Yeah, he was. <laughs> hmm. He was real creepy. So you continue to tell me. Yeah. Tasty and damp. But not in like, you know, a good way. In like a, in a creepy way. And you said that he had a- We're uh, honestly quite fans. Just of what you do in your enterprise, so. From what we know, which is 
Pretty Next little. to nothing, Lord. No, we don't know hardly anything. But we're fans of what we do know. I'm sure it's great. I'm sure you guys are She's great. She's also super into, like, you know, masks and stuff like that. So this whole ambiance in here is just <laughs> super Honestly, on you're nailing it. I feel like we should, it's right? Road, Since yeah. we live around sure. here. Are you doing all right? I know it's been so much here lately. I'll assist. It's, it's all right. Yeah, the sleep helped. Good. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Lana. And all that stuff, uh, you happened to give your dad up uh, for collateral, but it's... Yeah, that... We'll talk, we'll, we'll put a pen in that. All right. Imogen! Imogen. Yeah? Uh, just wondering... Ooh, just wondering... If you can sense good old Duga. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can totally try that. Okay, all right. She's going to try. Five points of piercing damage. Oh no. And six points of necrotic. Uh, you down? No, uh, the other one, because they're both going for you yeah, and they're fuck. minus creatures, the other one's going to go ahead and attack you. I Can I fucking. Uh, yeah. No, no, you no, take no, no, two no, no, death no. saving throws. As, the other, as you fall to the ground, the other <laughs> one just starts <laughs> clawing <laughs> into you. <laughs> and they're both just tearing into an unconscious image, and you see just blood strings flying as they are just Boy. gone feral yeah. on her. So we need to heal now and not attack those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, fucking infuriated by what I just saw. It is turned to cinders from the darkened splatter. Say, like Imogen, roll! Imogen, make a, uh, a dexterity saving throw, <laughs> but you have... Is this better for you? This is wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Are those two uh, folks in the corner too much? If they get to be, we can scare them off. Hmm. You know, I don't think I've ever been in love either. I mean, that's not true. I deeply love Imogen. It's a very broad word, isn't it? It is. Unless is someone's got higher. <sighs> but you already know everything about I her. I do know a lot about no, her. No, wait, which one of you two got the lowest? I got a one. <gasps> mm -hmm. There's always another layer to the end. <clears throat> I do have a question, okay. actually. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm sorry. You don't need to play Romans with me in order to ask me a question. I, I know, but I'm just going to take advantage of it. Okay. <sighs> How are you feeling about your father and everything, yes, with the, the Chantry? Uh, the nope, nope, the Hussar. Who bought Corsair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, um, genuinely, what the fuck was up with that? <laughs> we haven't talked about this. Yeah, um, you have to give over your father's name for collateral. What is gonna happen? It does make me a little nervous. What the fuck do I know? I don't know. No. I mean, I got a good feeling off of the people in there, like they didn't strike me as the type that would just go out and, and, and destroy my life for no reason, so unless we right. do something horrible to them, I don't think we have much to worry about. All right. Was that very lonely for you? It was for a while. Yeah. Um, but it, it was really bad there for a while. <laughs> you know, when Londa came to town, it was the first time I'd really felt any peace for a long time, so, um, yeah. I don't know why I didn't think to get out of town faster. It was actually really great when we left. How long have you guys been traveling together? Just two years. Yeah, just over two years now. Oh. Oh. We're pretty good at being hermits together. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. So your heart does beat. It does, just very You have slowly. hopes? You have fears? Mm-hmm. You have loves? Of course. Sounds well, you... like you're alive to me. <laughs> <laughs> One of them kind of pops in my head, though, every now and then. What's that mean? What? Say that again. What? One well, uh, voices in my head. Oh, kind of like Imogen. Mm -hmm. It's different. Kinda. It's, I think it's why we bonded so quickly, and I think just whatever magical bond we have just works. I'll keep you posted if she starts getting uh, aggressive. Yeah. One of the reasons I think we need a group name, the sooner we have it, the sooner we have a contract, the sooner we can get in there. That's true. Right? 
We'll keep thinking on it. Maybe um, something will inspire us in the next day or two. Yeah. How are you doing? You looked a little pale there at the end. Oh no, I just, I was trying really hard not to get into everybody's head, you know what I mean? Sleep well. All right, you two, wake me up if you have any other nightmares. All right. You know I will. You know what I've noticed since I've been around y'all? Which is really interesting. Like all the time, it, it almost sounds like a, like a swarm of, of bees, you know? We are a swarm of bees. No, no, no. Everyone, everything is just so much. But, and it, it's the same sort of feeling that I had with Lana the first time I met her. It was, it was, it was there, she was there but she was at almost like a different, a different pitch than everybody else. It was musical, it wasn't painful like everybody else. And you're getting that with us. It's not quite there, but I'm getting used to the sound, so it doesn't feel as intrusive. There's we can go into our bedroom if that makes you feel better. I think that's probably best. Okay. <laughs> All right, tell us. Okay, we All right, we're, All right, we're in the bedroom. Right. Right. It's, it's a bedroom. very tight space. Yeah. This, this chamber is like <laughs> very tight. It's like ten <laughs> foot by eight foot. Are you it's chosen? The singular bed in the center. So when you guys are all in there, you're all. Wait all three like, days. Eat fruit soup. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. Get... <laughs> yep. Straight up. Squished up on the bed. Yeah, yeah. Epic fruit soup. high fantasy <laughs> adventure right here. <laughs> Retirement fruit soup in a tiny bedroom. Let's go. In a grandma house. In a fucking grandma house. We are in a tiny bedroom in a grandma. So should we get out of this old person's bedroom? Well, technically, it's our... Yeah, let's get out. Technically, you are the oldest, I think. I actually don't know that. At the moment, I'm assuming you're the oldest. Imogen, be right back. <laughs> and I'll send back uh, starting a connection. All right, let me know for four minutes what's going on. Here Orm and Laudan are, are off. Orm's pretty capable. All right. Lana's, Lana's got things covered. Keep us posted, Lana. Will do. Kill the puppy. <laughs> Man, talking to her just always makes me feel so warm and cozy. <laughs> and um, a, a wonderful friend. Uh, her name is Lana. She is um, walking partially the dead. Yeah. Is she, she can be intimidating in her presence. Dark hair, beautiful, Fine, gorgeous. Great. Rotting. Has a rat. You know. Um, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna go down this way without. Okay. Without Laudna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look towards Laudna and see how fucked up she is, and my eyes are just gonna flash white. And I'm gonna flare up my hands and hit it with a witch bolt. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That's my baby. Ooh, a 12 yeah. minutes. Come on. Help. Help. My girl. Never gonna work, but it's. God, God this place is oh, are you weird. Right? Yeah, Fern, Fern, help me out so much. <laughs> I I got, I ha every once in a while, I can't. How are you? How are you? You were right up there on it. Okay, I, 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 that hurt. I thought that I would really die. hurt. But I. I, I, I thought we were dead. Want. Helped me. I thought I might die. <laughs> Again. You look over. And I just walk over to him. <laughs> Uh, Imogen? Who's that? Do you know that? Um, that fella? Oh, guy. Uh, I, I like uh, power walk next to Imogen. You, you know, <laughs> we almost Lodna there. has a lot of appreciation for fine furniture as well. It's true. Who's Lodna? That's, I tried to introduce. Fuck! Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, just making crazy eyes. Are you, no, wait, Lodna. <laughs> okay. Lodna. After, after you gonna say it? Just yeah. scare away. <laughs> <laughs> Make it that. look inviting, look inviting. If she's oh. done that, I'm... Hello. Where are you going? <laughs> Grabs I both sides of his head and goes like, <laughs> and kind of darts Come outside. Here. Right. And he hears my voice too. Come on, it's fine. Just get back up here. <laughs> no one's gonna hurt you. We just want to talk. They're not gonna hurt you. Just hurt you. I will hurt you. <laughs> so. Oh, we have to take. <clears throat> Well, we have to take one of the cable cars, don't we? You do. Oh. What's wrong with that? I just hate the cable cars. I love the cable car. It's to shift and head down the wire. It bows slightly as soon as it lifts off of it. Like, you feel, you feel kind of... <laughs> I just fixed the table. Yeah, I was too nice. 
I'm gonna spit. You did a really spit good job. on the floor. <laughs> Fern's a rat. She's going in to hear what they're saying. I'm just gonna. Oh, look at that Give sweet hunk of fresh meat. <laughs> oh, 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 for me that you somehow made it weird. It's so inappropriate. Look at this offending Imogen. Something. Pretty. Yeah. <sighs> what are you doing later? Oh no. Working. And then sleeping? What time do you get off? <laughs> two hours after sundown. Two hours after... Two hours after sundown. Pretty? Do you want to go on a date? <laughs> With you? <laughs> Anybody at this table? <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. whoever you want to go. I don't know. We could, we could, we could, we could all go. It could be it on, like a be full, on a like a group hang. I just stay it's, it's you know the three of us are sitting at the table still, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's all lies, Imogen. I want to wear your skin for a hat. <laughs> you can just ask me. I say it in my head. <laughs> she has nice skin. Honestly. I said that in my head. Oh, the skin part? Yep. Thought was Did dead. you just blurt out she has nice skin out of nowhere? Because I'm <laughs> What the fuck? Lock <laughs> up! Yeah. Shit! <laughs> she has nice skin. Oh, we should take them. We should take them for a walk in a graveyard. Okay. That actually sounds really pleasant. Yeah. Really nice. Sounds really peaceful. This is extremely beautiful. What if the Nightmare King is real? Well, of course he is real. Look, I've been called the Nightmare Queen, you know, so... Oh, shit. It just depends on where you go I mean, she's a queen. Town. She, she's very much a queen. <laughs> um, what, ha what happened to Samuel? I, I hope he had a wonderful end. A oh, wonderful end? I mean, Did just... Die? No, no, I mean, like, what happened to him? <laughs> he's, he's quite happy. He's, he's fine. Did he marry someone else? Should we kill her? Oh. I don't... I don't think he's... Uh, no, he, he wasn't married, at least not when we left. Oh, okay. Well, he better not be. <laughs> Pretty. She's absolutely gorgeous. And I take it and I... I know, I'm trying to figure out, do we put it in our, like, yeah. jacket? Or do I put it in, like, maybe oh, our hair? You put, oh, will you put, put mine in, in my, yes, like... Yes, absolutely. Oh, that's a great idea. I kind yeah. of just pin it. Thank you. And I take mine and I, I wrap it around my <gasps> wrist like a croissant. I'll tie it, I'll tie it Thank for you. Thank you so much. That's lovely. Do you ever have, like, a... Ooh, this is awkward. Like, oh, she's getting real clingy. No, no, no. He enjoyed everyone a lot. Okay. He never thought that about you. Oh, thank You're you. not clingy. I'm You're not wonderful. Yeah, it's just a little, you know, back no, of my head. Don't be insecurity. <laughs> I just kind of link arms with my fellow witches. <sighs> you know what? You three were the best part of the night, in my opinion. I agree. Oh, me too. Or three. Oh, and four. Who needs an ogre to make you feel good? <laughs> <laughs> These witches be bitches. <laughs> witches be bitches. Door. Psst. I bring her inside. Suddenly, a terrifying, oh, geez. ghostly Shh. flower girl with vacant eyes and missing void jaw is just there in the room next to you. Just this is one of your best ones, Lana. Um, yeah, is this is. your interpretation?